and Brian was named offensive coordinator. What, how was that received among the guys that were still here? Um, talking to our players, talking to our staff. Uh, staff, I'm sorry. Staff. Yeah. I, I think it was well received. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know that uh, that anybody um, object to it. They certainly didn't uh, didn't say that. Probably for good reason. But, <laughs> but Brian, I mean, <laughs> Brian is. I mean, you guys see Brian. You've, you've been around him, you know, enough to know that you know what what type of personality he has. You know his his internal drive. You know, as I mentioned with the linebackers, if you're if you're going to be good at anything, you got to be internally motivated. And um, you know, he's he's certainly got that. And you know, I think you're seeing it already. And I think our players are starting to to see it already. I mean, it's it's been it's been a you know it's been a good transition. Is that the type of thing that can energize a team like a, a new offensive coordinator with a lot of energy, new ideas? Well, certainly, yeah. certainly. And I, I think you know his his role is a little bit more tied up in the. Uh, you know, he's, he's certainly coaching a position, but right now, from a practice standpoint, it's more, you know, he's, he's more administrative involved because he's the one that's having to go off the script and relay the plays to the quarterback. So you're, you're not seeing him like you would have seen him, you know, when he coached the offensive line. But, um, you know, it's what, what you're seeing offensively is, is uh, you know, has been challenging for us defensively, like I mentioned, you know, just from an adjustment standpoint. But it's, I, I do think that there's some energy involved in it too, just, you know, what you're seeing out of our offensive players.